So, fifth seed, Lucy Mason. Marcha GB. She got really well here in this competition to get to the gold medal match. She faces Andrea Paquette, who was ranked sixth. So both these archers have beaten some of the top seeds on the way through yes, here. Yes, they have, yeah. And here they are in the gold. Both of a similar level as, you know, ranked similar to each other. So it should be a tight match to see what these girls can pull out of the bag today. Definitely. So each archer is going to shoot 15 arrows. Yep. Straight score. The highest score will win the match. If we get a tied score, there'll be a shoot one arrow off. shoot off. <laughs> And Lucy Mason start first. Higher seed, she's chosen to go first. Yeah. So on target number one. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant start from Lucy. Slightly high there. Send tied yeah. scores. A little bit of breeze now coming into the stadium. Number nine. Managed to hold in there with Bear. Does pick up rather quickly when you're not expecting it, so she did a good job keeping that up. See how Canada replies. Looks like a seven. Seven on the left, yeah. Maybe overcompensated there. Yeah, I mean, the wind's, the wind's pushing right, and you feel like you should aim off, and it doesn't take as much to move it as you think it is. So you aim off thinking that, you know, it's going to help save the arrow, and it ends up going where you find it. Yeah. yeah. We started off with practically no wind, and through those three arrows each, the wind has been picked up a little bit. Yeah. It's mostly a headwind, a little bit left to right. Yeah, it's not, it's not too bad. If, if anything, if the wind catches you, it's more likely going to push the arrow up. Keep the front arm. It's just trying to keep as still as possible in this wind. The front arm is key here. Scores confirmed there. So I get with 26 points. Lucy leads with 28, two point lead in the first end. Comfortable start. So the lower score, Archer, will start first. The left arrow in the eight there. We'll give it an eight star. It's just on the line there to be confirmed. Turn, yeah, very nice. Perfect. <laughs> 
being consistent on the left side, just... Yeah. Yeah. And she's found the middle. Yeah, still slightly on the left though. Just at the top there. So Lucy pushes her lead, two extra points, making it four in total to be confirmed. We're waiting on the liner there, packet, the first area, the 9 8 liner. Really close, so we'll just have to say about that. He's looking quite relaxed. I think the coach plays a bigger role in the individual matches. Yeah, definitely. You know, it's that bit of comfort when you come back from the line, have a little discussion, talk about the hours that have just been. If sight changes are made, for example, Paquette, you know, her coach probably telling a couple of clicks left just to compensate. For those arrows there, she, find, she found the 10 on third arrow, but still slightly on the left of it. She wants to move it a bit further in, just so she's comfortably there. So they gave the arrow an 8. So that's 53 for Paquette, 57 for Mason. I get to start the end, third of five. I'm a lot more central though. Lucy now just dripping over to the right. Could be a little bit of wind picking up there. Arrows have moved to the right hand side of, of the nine. See how Paquette finishes the end. Need to 10 here. No, 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 no. Nine, just on the left there. 28. Mason's final arrow of the end. Nine on the left. <laughs> Paquette gets a point back. It's only a three point advantage now with six hours remaining each. Yep, two to go. Lucy just checking her arrows there, so checking the fletchings are all okay. Oh, definitely, good. No damage. definitely a good idea. <laughs> Check the knocks have no damage, they haven't hit each other on the way, no, nothing loose. Quick check, those arrows get brought back to the arches. She'll be happy she's got back a fight there. Only three points between them now, two ends to go. A lot can happen in this. Okay, we'll be shooting first again, tag on two. in now. Yeah, found the 10. You can see Lucy was poised and ready to go, so as soon as that arrow's gone, the buzzer goes and the next arrow can be shot. Straight up, yeah. It's like a liner. Ooh, close one. She's adjusting her sight there. A little 
little bit of wind picking up here. He's really needs to hold the nerve. Keep the front arm strong. Yeah, no, probably just pushed over a little yeah, there. Yeah, managed to keep it stable. Nine will do in this. Oh, just out there. Yeah. Cut. Close one at the top. At least he needs a ten to before the end. Keep pulling. Keep on pulling. Yes. 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 Yeah, next turn. Happy with that. Could possibly be a twenty nine for Lucy. Term, if they determine that nine to be a ten, they've given it a star, so we'll see what they just have to say about that one. Yeah. Still a three point lead for Aris is for nine. For Mason. Going into the last end of this gold match. Seeing Lucy spot in the field this today, probably a good idea. It's very with bright. This, yeah, with this sun coming straight in front of you, it's not so much brightening up the targets, but it's just going to keep that sun out of your eyes and make it a lot easier to have a gold. We gave it a 10. So Lucy's brought back the far point lead from the far. Hold. Yeah. Just out. Managed to keep it as a nine there. Press that thumb into the ten. Keep pulling. Let's keep pulling. Keep the arm up and it's great. It's brilliant. Use it. Ten. Yeah. Yeah. Next ten. Next turn in reply. Absolutely. Lucy's on fire. She is, isn't she? One hour to go for both archers. Nice finish. She's done everything she can there in the last arrow. And a six will be enough for Lucy to take the title. No. Nine. Oh, nice. Yes. yes! It's enough to win. It is. Yes. Lucy wins 142 to 138. So Lucy Mason is the Compound Net Women's World Champion. Really interesting from both arches today. <laughs> I think Lucy just took that from the beginning, didn't she? Just like yeah. extended her lead all the way through. Exactly, yeah. She kept the lead and she wasn't going to let it go. Building on it, building on it. Nice and steady. Nothing, yeah. nothing out of the gold yeah. really was there, so that's what you want. Here she is. <laughs> She'll be really happy with this result. Next up, we've got the compound cadet men. We'll see Brian Alvarado Fernandez. We'll see his path through to the final versus Ethan Merrill of the USA. Both into this gold medal final. Thank <laughs> you. 
Brian Serrano Fernandez was seeded number one. He's made it all the way through to this gold match. And Ethan Merrill, the USA, was ranked third from all the way through. So he's just knocked out the second yeah. seed on his way. Two very highly ranked archers in the gold. Be a nice result for them. Again, should be another high level match. Exactly, yeah. Both these archers will be extremely close. It'll be a tough one to watch. Really good conditions here now. So the light breeze in the air. Just wonder if the yeah. sunshine's gonna be a factor. I think if you're left-handed, it might be more of a factor. Yeah, I think it could be. I mean, it's coming in from the left-hand side in front of the archers. If you are a left-handed archer, it's quite, un <laughs> quite unfortunate. It's gonna be shining in your eyes. Our glasses will definitely be advised in this. And we'll see what these archers can bring. So, Alvarado Fernandez was the first seed, so he chose to shoot first. Opens up with an eight. The yeah, archers tend to be uh, tended to be on the left hand side of the gold so far from the two matches that we've the first match we've seen in this one. So. Found the middle. Ten. 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 Slowly moving in, but still on the right. No. It's all about adjusting your sight quickly here, isn't it? Yeah. You've really got to be familiar with your equipment and know how much it takes to get an archer from for example, mid nine on the right to the center. It's quick adjustments. Nine, eight, nine, nine. Oh, just, just outside. Nine. Yeah. Yeah, I can see him adjusting for that arrow there. So it's like they tied up that end, 26 piece. Not the start we were expecting. No, not at all. I mean, the conditions here are a lot different to practice field, for example, and the qualification field as well. So these archers, their equipment will be set up for those conditions. The finals field is a lot more open as we can see here. We've got a large gap to the left hand side of the field. The wind is coming from that direction. So the practice field they've just come from is directly behind us. Yep. There's a bit more protection around that field, you say? Yeah, there's a there's a high wall at the front of the hand target, so you've got a bit more protection from a headwind there, um, and down the sides it is as well. So there's a slight wind, but not enough to move you off the gold. Aiming's pretty steady. You're quite open to the elements on this finals field, so. Definitely, and these arches are up on a platform. Yeah. Stuck out on this. On this bridge. On this bridge. <laughs> There's nothing much around them. It's quite a unique feel to it be is, shooting on. It is. a really impressive venue and quite intimidating, actually, when yeah. you stood up there. Yeah. So, second end of five. All tied up. It's going to be who can bring back a lead in this end and maintain. I'm just outside. Ten. Ten. Just came off the stops a little there. Managed to save it though. Just a little high ten there. 
Seven on the left, left and a bit high there as well. Mel really wants to use that to his advantage and try and bring a, a lead in. Nine. Yeah, nice group there. We can adjust for that. It's a lot easier to adjust with the group than it is with arrows that you've got in three different places. So Merrill taking a two point lead after six arrows. Scorers at the other end there up on a quite big platform. Make the level, le le literally the level level from one yeah. end to the other. <laughs> Sloping bridge down. Already for the third end. Trailing Archer, Fernandez pushes for the first. Target number one. Two point lead. Isn't that much coming to the third end, so he can easily bring this back. Next turn. Nice move shot. Settle the nerves after his last arrow. It's all about how you come back from a bad arrow. Good reply. Yeah. Ten. Trying to maintain this lead, keep the points going. No, no, no. A little breeze picking up here. Nine, eight, yes, 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 yes. Perfect. First there to today. Extends his lead to four points. Just one end remaining. Three arrows. Great crowd support here. Definitely, yeah. <laughs> Final end. Two ends to go. Yes. That is a 10. Nice comeback. Let's keep these 10s flowing if he wants to make back points in between the two of them. Yes. Really required from Ethan. No, 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 no. Both arrows on the left there. I'm just quick to turn with the first one. Eight on top. Yes. 
trying to find some rhythm there. Right next to the other one. Not sure what's happened there. What's sent yeah. those arrows high? Not sure he is either. Yeah. I don't know where we just coach there, but we figure out. We'll see how he comes back in the next end. There was a slight breeze picking up there and just tend to kick up the arrows when it's coming when it's headwind, so that could have been a factor in it. So the lead that Royal had has now slipped just a one point advantage. It's going to be an interesting last end. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Fernandez does have the opportunity now to bring it back. So it could be anyone's game going into the final three hours for each archer. End up with a nine. Also a nine. All square. Prado Fernandez really needs two tens here, just to put the pressure on in the best chance. There's one. Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant start. See how Mara replies to the arrow. He really wants to maintain his lead here. Oh, got a bit of a breeze. Ooh, and it's a <laughs> wide nine. Manages to keep it in the goal. We're all tied up now. Last arrow. Comes down to this one. Each archer really wants a 10 here. Oh, that's a wide nine. So Marul's got a chance now to take this world championship. 10 to win. There's a tie. We're going to see a shoot off. <laughs> really in, yes. <laughs> Fernandez did really well, clawing back at the points to the very end. He wasn't wanting to let that one go. We each actually will take turns to shoot one arrow each closest to the center is our winner. It is confirmed tie. So I believe Avrendo Fernandez was ranked one, he chose to shoot first. He did, yes, so correct. he's now going to get the opportunity to shoot first on this tie. It could be a, a brilliant advantage, you know, put the pressure on your opponent, get yep. 10 in straight away. Yep. Alternatively, the nerves could get you get to you a little bit. Yep. Arch number two could look and go, well, I know exactly what I need to win yep. now. So we'll see how it plays out for these two arches here, who will take the gold. Changing the target faces, fresh brand new ones. So if need be, the judges can measure from the centre, uh, the X in the very middle of the target. Arch is going to have the normal 20 seconds here to shoot their arrows. Fernandez to shoot first. It's a 10. ten. No, Not far from next this. Yep. Really needs an X. Yes. Oh, it's tight. Who's going to be closest? Oh, 
going to have to wait for the judges to call this. So they are going to have to use those measuring tools. To measure it out, yeah. It's so close, this. Brilliant arrows from both archers. They did everything they could here to win that. Tense moment now, isn't it? Just waiting. Just It's the waiting game. <laughs> you just want to know, did I get it? Looking closely. The judge makes the decision, and it is Brian Avendo Fernandez, who is the world champion of the compound cadet men. Really cheap from both arches. Close to the very end of that match, and he'll be really happy with that result. He went behind, didn't he? And then the he did, in. yeah. We weren't sure if he was going to be pulled back that four point lead. And he, and he managed to. He, he worked his way, kept the tens going, and yep. he added up. Kept his focus, yep. got back in the middle. Fantastic match. Brilliant. And next up is the junior compound women. So Alex Ruse has come through as first seed of the USA, all the way to this gold medal match. And Sarah Moon of Great Britain meet in the gold final. And Alexis Ruiz is ranked number one. She's come all the way through to this gold medal match. So she will have the opportunity to, choose, to shoot first or second. Sarah Moon, Great Britain. She ranked third in the qualification. She's taken out the second seed on the way here. She's already been in two matches. Yeah, so she does have a great advantage here. I mean, Alexis also has shot a mixed team, I believe. So both archers are familiar with the finals field. Not as nerve-wracking the second time or third time round in, <laughs> in Sarah's case. But let's see if she can add to her medal haul here and bring another gold. Doesn't get much better than three gold medal finals. No, you can't ask for anything more than that. Individual team and mixed team. Yeah. Silver in team and gold in mixed team. See if she can add another one. Don't believe any other archer has made. No, she's the, the only one, which matches. is a brilliant achievement in itself. Before you've even got on the finals field, that's yeah. already an amazing achievement. So Alexis has chosen to shoot first. No, no, no. Opens up with a nine. No, no, no. Sarah also with a nine, both on the right here. Ten. Another nine, nicely grouped on the right. Yeah, she's just looked for that, so hopefully bring it back into the middle. That's a 28 for Ru Ruiz. Can Sarah match it? Needs 10 to keep the scores equal. Yes, she can. Yeah, brilliant. It's going to be a close match. It is, isn't it? I mean, both archers, once again, we have seed number one and seed number three against each other, as we did with the um, K1 
cadet men. So both very skilled, did a brilliant job in qualification in very windy conditions as well. Yep, so it's been challenging week, isn't it, on the it main has, field? It has, yeah, the qualification field is, it's brilliant, you can fit 100 targets wide, but it's very open to the elements, um, and it does take a lot of nerve. I mean, we can see Sarah over there spotting the wind bar, so side rod with a lot of weight on the front, just to help that little bit keep the front out still, and it's worked for her so far, because she's managed to get into three medal matches, doing what you have to do. Second end of five. <laughs> See if Sarah can keep the tie going. Just low? Just, yeah, just below 10 there. Sarah, can you pull it again? Needs a 10 here. Little breeze coming in. Yeah. Definitely affected her a little bit there. Front arm pushed up slightly with the headwind. There is hold steady for 10. Nice 29 end. Sarah needs to keep in the match here. Oh, just low again. Right next to the It's been starred. Possibly going to get 10 for that. We'll have to wait for the judge's call. With them so close that she may have bounced off slightly from the other one. It may just be the 10 if she's lucky. Sarah got the 10. So it's 57 to 55, two point lead for the Ruiz, the United States. Yeah, Sarah really needed that 10 there just to yeah. keep back as many points as she could. Two points in the second end. A lot to play for here for both arches. As we saw in the last match, even if you're trailing, it's just keeping up the 10 so you can bring, a, bring back and get the lead. Yep. We saw a four-point deficit. We did, didn't yeah. We? Just got to keep fighting for it. It's never finished until the last arrow shot. Sarah will shoot first on target number two. Nine on the left. Nine for is slightly low. Mm, on high in the eight. Let's see if the American can take the advantage here. Yes. He does yeah. for the ten. Same spot Same again. Thing, yeah. <laughs> so what we're going to see there? It's a nine start again. We'll have to wait for the judges' call again on that one. But it's going to be difficult. Like last time. Get that ten. It's going to be difficult for that little bit. That line to be removed. Oh. Nine from Ruiz. So extends her lead. Four points. Possibly. Possibly. Could be a three-point lead if Sarah gets that ten again. Exactly the same place as the other two out yeah. in the previous. Oh. And 
and Sarah's been awarded a nine for that arrow. So Ruiz does get her four point lead. Turning. So this is pretty much what we saw in the last match, four point it lead is, at this yeah. stage. So Sarah could bring this back just like we saw last time. She just needs to keep those tens coming. I hope Ruiz dropped a couple of nines to claw back the points. So once again, Sarah will shoot first, target number two. Ten. Yeah. She really needed that. She came back from her eight very nice and strong. Good reply. Well, ten for Sarah. And another for Ruiz. <laughs> Both that just does keep equaling arrow, arrow after arrow. Oh, slightly low out. again. It's going to be out. <laughs> Great shooting from the American. It's extended their lead now to five points. Five to zero. Going into the final end of the score on a match. Sarah really needs to keep up the tent. She did really, really nice job in that. And there, 29, just not enough. Ruiz was, she wasn't going to let go of those tens, three all in a row. All Sarah can do now is just keep them in the middle, keep that pressure on as she can. Yeah, just keep applying the pressure to Ruiz. She knows she's got this lead. But Sarah just needs to keep applying some more pressure. Final end, three arrows each. All to play for in this World Championship final. It's a wide nine. Next ten. 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 Another ten for Ruiz. Last hour of Sarah of this match. See if she can finish nice and strong. Ten. Yeah, good finish. It's going to be a five to win for Lex Juris of USA. Nine at the top, but it's enough to win. It is. Alexis Ruiz is the world champion of Compound Junior Women. Fantastic. So we've seen, yeah, we've seen two seed number ones win gold. Brilliant for them. She shot so well in the match, didn't she, Alexis? Yeah, she kept the tens going. Really strong shooting from both arches. Sarah's third medal of the championships. One gold and two silvers. Such a good cool. achievement. Such a good achievement, especially for a first world championships as well. Yeah. So what Mark Nyosk for? Exactly. <laughs> it's her uh, third time representing Great yes, Britain, it is. I believe. Yep. Um, she did leg one and two at the Europeans, Greece and Croatia most recently. It's her first international season. Yeah, first international season. And she's done very, very well. So we can only expect to see more from her.
So we have the last compound match of the championships, the junior men division. And we see Jesse Clayton of the USA fighting through to the final gold match. And Curtis Broadnax, of also of the USA, meeting in this gold final. I think this might be a world championship for the USA. It may be. <laughs> so Jesse Clayton, rank number one. Get the opportunity to choose to shoot first or second. We've seen both leading, well, all three leading archers so far choose to shoot first. Yep, it's definitely the more popular decision. Yeah, I mean, most people like to apply pressure straight away to the very first arrow to the opponent. So we'll see what Jesse chooses to do here against his teammate. <laughs> Curtis brought next. He was seeded third, so he's taken out. Seed two on his way through. Both great shooters, great averages. I think this is going to be a tight match. It is, and, they, and they'll know how each other shoot as well, you know, being on the same team. Yeah. He has lived really well in the compound finals. We've seen three appearances. And Jesse Clayton has chosen to shoot first. And off we go. Just out, Curtis. Just at the top. Just out, and it was 11, Curtis. A little bit of steering there. Yeah, just a little bit. Tried to save it from the wind there. Brilliant start, Clayton. Yes. Max matches his opponent's arrows. 29 apiece. see George Riles on the left hand side there coaching in the box he's done a lot of good work in America he has hasn't he brilliant coach to have he knows his stuff to be able to help with those odd arrows that Clayton may get out here give a bit of advice for the wind he's got a whole army coming through <laughs> isn't he whole he academy has. some great archers we're going to see in the future in USA perform brilliantly so far in these finals. And here we have two of them in the gold. So as we're all tied up, we'll go to the original shooting order. Very close yeah. arrow there. They've it's been a starred. nice start, yeah. That's in. Yeah, definite ten. It's gone.
gone high, he's gone low. Another 10. Yeah. Solid there. Bring him back a little lead here. Both arrows at the bottom of the same place. For Clayton. Ten, ten, ten. Very nice. It's a three point lead, but it could only be a two. It depends on this arrow call from the judge. 50, 59 out of 60. Brilliant. Brilliant start for Arden Axe here. So that 10 wasn't awarded. Jesse has a three point deficit right now. He's going to start us off. Third end. Great shoot we're seeing here. So Curtis is our first left hand archer of the day. Yeah. Unfortunately, the sun has moved around a bit. I think if he was the first match on this morning, yeah, he would have struggled more. Might have not been so fortunate. Ten. Slightly on the left hand side, managing to keep him in. A little rush that shot. See if Curtis is used to his advantage. He does. Yes. Again. It's a clean 60s head there. Yeah. Two ends. Only dropped one point in the very first end. Great shooting. He'll be very pleased with this. We've extended that lead now to five points. Jesse starts us off again in this fourth end. He really needs to keep him in the middle here to have a chance. Yeah. Makes the uh, rank, rank three archer win this instead at this rate. Just got it at the top. They've given it an eight star. And another eight star. Very strange. After all of these consistent tens, and it's a little low on that arrow. Oh. 
Oh. Wasn't happy with that one. Yeah, try to save it. This could be nerves factoring in. Just at the bottom of the 10 there. So anything that was starred on the scoring there is subject to the judge. When they look at the arrows at the other end to make that decision. It shows that it's close, could be either way. It's two arrows in question at the moment, so the score could go either way. And Clayton has got his eight upgraded to a nine. As a also had his upgraded to a nine. So we've got a six point advantage to Rodnax. 17 to 111. Still a very good lead. Yep. Just the final end now, I mean something would have to go drastically wrong to yeah. make a change here. Jesse's just got to keep his focus. Shoot the best three arrows he can. A little high there. See if Rodnax can bring back those tens he was shooting. He does. Good group up there, but yeah, same place is adjusting for it. Curtis just running away with this now. Yeah, back to shooting those tens like he was before. Last arrow here for Clayton. Eight. Again, just trying to save it there. Probably not aiming where he wanted no. when the shot went off. Nine. That's enough. Happy with that. So, Curtis Broadnax is the Compound Junior Men World Champion. Oh, brilliantly throughout that whole match. 146 finish. Yeah. Very respectable, especially with this win. Unfortunate for Jesse there. Yeah, they both shot some great arrows, but Curtis just ran away the lead, didn't he? Just yeah. kept he, on he going. He wanted that lead, he kept it going, kept working on it, and it paid off for him. So that concludes the compound individual finals of this morning. We've seen some fantastic matches. Yes, we have, and we've had a shoot-off, which I always brilliant to see. Definitely. Keeps it nice and tense, especially for the audience, brilliant to watch. So next up, we have the recurve matches, starting with teams, mixed teams, and finally the individual matches. So stay tuned to World Archery later on today.